Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh my oh, gosh, there's oh, aliens! Oh, my god, it's jam! Ah! Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me! I, I, I need help, I need help, I need help! I'm coming. I got you, I got you! Stay with me! We have to get out of here. There's two of them! Why did I take this job? Watch the doors, watch the doors. Oh, 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 oh! Still them. Oh my god! Here they come. I'm gonna wave to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear him. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close the door. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna wave. <laughs> okay. Okay, this has to be the most refreshingly unique multiplayer VR game I've played since. Well, probably since Broken Edge, and it's no surprise why, since this is the next big game coming from the very same publisher. You might also recognize them from other VR games such as Project Demigod, Vampire the Masquerade, Justice, Ghost Signal, Apex Construct, and several more I'm probably forgetting. But trust me when I say this game feels like a gigantic leap forward for their relatively small game studio. The graphics are stylish yet immersive, the gameplay is fast-paced yet strategic, and the overall vibes... Yeah, they're really good. And even though this is a sponsored video, wait, wait, no, don't click away. There's a lot more to it, hear me out. Because I've been wanting to talk about this game for months, and I've had to keep it a secret until now. You see, I first played this game back in January during my visit to Fast Travel Game Studio in Sweden. And at the time, I was only supposed to be recording content for Project Demigod's launch. But they were like, hey, we have some other unreleased games we're working on. Do you want to try them? And I said, yeah. Long story short, I had so much fun playing just a few rounds of this game that I wanted to immediately share it with you all, because I've never really played anything quite like it. To put it very simply, Mannequin is kind of like a combination of prop hunt, freeze tag, and that Assassin's Creed multiplayer mode that barely anyone remembers. Seriously, that was such a cool concept, can we bring that back? And if even by the end of this video you're still not sure what this game is like, well, the good news is you can try it for yourself for free right now. The alpha version of Mannequin is available on SideQuest for you to download, but it'll only be available for a limited time. The reason I'm so excited about this sponsorship is that, unlike most sponsored content, this video isn't trying to sell you anything. The open alpha is just a great way for the developers to get feedback and improve the game, and it's also a great way for all of you to try the game for free before its launch. Again, the open alpha is available on SideQuest for MetaQuest 2, 3, and Pro, but the full release will also be on Steam. But for right now, while price isn't a barrier to entry, let me explain why this game is worth your hard-earned time as well. But first, you have to leave a like on this video. No seriously, like, the video won't keep playing unless you- oh you did it, okay thanks. Now roll the intro. Mannequin is an asymmetrical multiplayer VR game where you'll either play as the high-tech special agents or the shape-shifting aliens known as mannequins. As a special agent, you're tasked with defending three power stations and eliminating the alien presence, and to do so, you'll be utilizing your EMF reader, which points you in the general direction of your targets and also conveniently transforms into a laser blaster for when you do find them. Though, I really should say if you find them, because the mannequins can be quite clever. Playing as a mannequin gives you the unique ability to disguise yourself as one of the human NPCs who are frozen in time throughout the maps. When you activate this ability, your avatar freezes into whatever position you were in, so it's up to you to make yourself blend in by posing naturally. <laughs> <laughs> when they come here, they're gonna be like, what the? <laughs> What's happening here? This is such a cool mechanic and something you can really only do in VR. Now, the only way you can eliminate the agents is by touching them, which freezes them in time. But remember, they have laser guns, which are super accurate from range. Oh, yeah, I just saw. Uh -huh. Whoa, long shot. Nice. So you need to get up close and personal to have even a chance of taking them out. I love this gameplay system because it's one of the very few multiplayer games that requires you to play stealthily, but not in a boring way that forces you to hide in a faraway corner or avoid the action. Your ability to disguise yourself allows you to blend into the crowd, to hide in plain sight, and strike when the agents least expect it. And it's so satisfying to do that. They've just seen me, they've just seen me, so I'm running, I need to run away. <laughs> <They just> <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wait, did you get one? I got one and one's staring right at me. Oh. They don't know. They don't know. He's right here. This kind of social stealth system is pretty much only found in flat screen single player games like Hitman or Assassin's Creed, but putting it in a VR multiplayer game adds a whole new layer of tension and immersion. There will be moments where you're playing as a mannequin positive that the agent right in front of you knows you're there. Maybe their laser sight even hovers over you for a second, but you hold your breath and you wait for him to get closer and finally reach out and probably scare them to death. At least that's what happens to me when I'm on the receiving end. I feel like someone's gonna come through this door. And I actually love how, depending on which side you're playing on, it can feel like a totally different game. Playing as the agents is almost like this tense co-op horror game where you're moving slowly through the map trying to narrow down where the aliens might be. Someone's still in here. Someone's still in here. Oh my god. Someone's still in here. Okay, I'm watching the right side. Oh, there's someone right over here. No. Is it him? <laughs> oh, Lucky nice. guess. And playing as the mannequins makes you feel like one of those terrifying jumping spiders that used to scare me as a kid on National Geographic. The one that waits for you to make the mistake of getting too close and then boom. Gotcha. How would you like to stare into these eyes with your life on the line? <laughs> Yikes! But despite the differences in play styles, teamwork is always the best option for both teams. There's a really handy ping system that lets you point out specific locations in the world to your teammates. Could be oh, the store. Oh, here they go. I saw them. Oh, I saw he, he ran this way. Alright, I'm coming. And of course, there's also voice chat, which works great. We ambush them from either side. Like, I'm on this side, and if you go to the other side, let's ambush them. Especially for giving vital callouts even after you've died. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, you give me intel on their whereabouts, because okay. they're right up there, right? Yeah, yeah, he's right up here. I wonder if I dare go up and try and kill him. He's okay, the one on the right left. Right. If Yeah, if you go for it, I think you can get him. On the left, the left person. Oh, yeah. oh nice. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that is something I really like about this game. You're not totally useless once you're eliminated. So at first, when you're tagged by a mannequin or shot by an agent, you become frozen in time. In this state, your teammates have a small window of opportunity to revive you, but if they fail to do so, you'll move on to the afterlife and enjoy an eternity of peace and solitude. I'm just kidding. You'll actually become a ghost who haunts the map and terrorizes the remaining players by opening and closing doors at random. Oh, I forgot I can open doors as a ghost. I can just freak him out. <laughs> I love doing this. It's so funny to see the agents just absolutely shaking with fear when they can't figure out which door they're going to be attacked from. And speaking of those doors, and elevators, and walls, and lights, and transitions are hard, but the map design is really noteworthy as well. Not only do I really like the art direction with all the different colors and lighting effects, futuristic screens everywhere, but they're really well designed for this particular game mode. They don't feel like your typical, wide-open, symmetrical, multiplayer shooter maps. They're dense, layered, almost claustrophobic, which is perfect for this kind of game. Well, one. Nice. And the other ones, if you bring out your radio, you'll see him fight through the wall because oh. of the radio thing. Nice. <laughs> right. There are so many walls to hide behind, corners to clear, secret tunnels and escape routes to utilize, and as a result, these maps feel incredibly replayable. So while there's only two maps available in this open alpha, I honestly doubt you'll get bored of them. There are just so many ways each round can play out. One round, the mannequins might successfully capture the two objectives they need, which grants them an overshield and the ability to see agents through walls, and suddenly the hunters become the hunted, and now the agents are forced to play a much more defensive role. No. Did they get uh, both room. of them? <gasps> they got me! I saw... I they saw... have a double shot shield now. Okay. I can't miss. They're just peeking behind that corner. <laughs> He's taunting me. Okay. They're in here somewhere, and now they have a double shot shield, so I'm a little bit scared. Uh oh, you got it, you got it. Oh. In front of which? You hit him, oh, you hit him. Right. Oh, that was them? Okay, nice. Nice! <laughs> then maybe the very next round, the mannequins will just take too long to get into position and be wiped out instantly. Yeah, I 
no, that voice. <gasps> oh no! They're here! Uh, oh, they're here. No. oh no! I'm so dead. And I haven't even mentioned the extra abilities both teams have. The agents have a device that they can deploy that reveals nearby mannequins, even if they're disguised, and the mannequins have a dash ability that they can only activate while frozen in place. And somehow, despite how different both those abilities are, both teams still feel really well balanced against each other. I honestly still can't decide if I like playing as agents or mannequins more. I've had times playing as an agent where I feel totally overpowered, like a sci-fi John Wick just blasting through aliens. <laughs> Oh. Yep, they're right here on me. They're at this door here. They could have moved now or somewhere else. Oh, 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 nice. Sometimes I almost feel bad shooting them when they're helplessly running away. Almost. It's balanced out by the number of times I've been completely caught off guard and basically jump scared by mannequin players. I'm gonna go for the res. Oh, clutch, clutch, clutch. <gasps> sure, as an agent you have a gun, which you might think puts you at an advantage in most situations, but it's balanced out by a very limited shot count, which you have to recharge at the same power stations that the aliens are trying to take over. Plus, if you mistakenly shoot a human, your gun will temporarily jam, meaning you can't just spam shots to clear out a room. Oh. Ah! He's right here. <laughs> If you guess wrong, there are consequences. You know, if there's a mannequin nearby, you probably just gave them the perfect opportunity to strike. Another thing to be aware of as an agent is that the mannequins can see your laser, meaning they can tell exactly where you're aiming and use that to their advantage. Okay. Gosh, seeing that laser is so reply. scary. Oh, they see me. Oh, just beneath the A. Yeah, just beneath. Ah! Okay. Come on! No. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can help you now. All in all, I'm genuinely really impressed that this game works as well as it does, especially in this alpha state, because it's an incredibly novel concept that's been very well executed, which is super rare to see in the VR scene, let alone an early access VR game. So many VR games simply try to emulate successful flat screen games, or if they do try to innovate something ambitious, they usually don't have the resources to make it really work. But Mannequin succeeds at pretty much everything it tries to do. It's a visually impressive, incredibly immersive, and most importantly, straight up fun VR game that I highly recommend you try. And again, why wouldn't you? The Open Alpha is free to download right now. There will be a link in the description. If you do end up playing it, let me know what you think down in the comments. I've genuinely been so excited for all of you to try this game and to see your reactions to it. And if you're watching this on the day I upload it, I'll probably be online playing. Maybe you can join my lobby. But thank you for taking the time to hear me out, and thank you for leaving a like, which I know you all did, because you had to. And finally, thank you to my Patreon members. I'm so grateful for your support. We gained one more since the last video. Welcome to the Virtual Bros, Marcus. Hopefully you can settle this tie by voting for my next video topic. That's all I have for this video. Subscribe and click that bell notification for more virtual reality videos. I'm Virtual Bro, and I'll see you next time.